water car that'll go to the moon and back on a couple of gallons of water. Or so that's what they want you to think. He's not wrong. Most water-powered car technology is a red herring, but that's only because you don't know about the one that actually works. I'll make this one short and sweet. In my last few videos, I've been talking about Dr. Henry Puharish, who was essentially a mind control doctor for the Army that branched out into the New Age and spread New Age beliefs. One of his side projects was actually developing water-powered car technology. And Puharish actually had a patent on a technology that split hydrogen using acoustics and not electricity. One of Puharish's colleagues that he was doing psychic research with in Maine was John Hayes Hammond, an early radio pioneer during World War II. Hammond was also the protege of Nikola Tesla, and Tesla actually lived on Hammond's estate at one point. So Puharish had this lineage back to Nikola Tesla and was privy to information that didn't make it out into the light of day. One of those pieces of information is U.S. patent 4,394,230 for a method and apparatus of splitting water molecules. This is from 1983, and you can see that on his apparatus, he has an electrical function generator. That generator provided acoustic signals that split the water molecule without the heat issues that are common for HHO generators. What that means is that this device is highly efficient and doesn't have the same breakdown you see in other hydrogen generators. Puhar spent the last 15 years of his life doing research and living on the estate of Josh Reynolds, the R.J. Reynolds tobacco heir. Here's a news report about the uh, death of Puharish. Uh, from the Charlotte Observer, he was living on the estate in North Carolina. At the end of his life, it is said that he had a heart attack and fell down the steps. I spoke with people who were his personal friends and who were there at the time and said he was pushed down the steps and murdered because he was working on the water-powered car. When Puharish died, all the uh, scientists that were living on that estate were kicked out um, against the will of Josh Reynolds by the executor of the estate, Norwood Robinson, an attorney from Winston-Salem. Now, that would have included all of Puharish's papers and research. So if you want to go knocking on doors to find out where the fuck our hydrogen-powered cars are, go find Norwood Robinson and ask him.